Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 10.5 harder trigonometric equations. 10.5 represents chapter 10, section 5 of the Pearson A level maths, pure maths year 1 textbook. Let's have a look at exam style question 1. Solve for x is more than or equal to 0 but less than 360 degrees. Part A, cos 3x equal minus 1 over 2. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. Ladies and gents, I'm going to start by writing down the interval for x. So we've got 0 is less than or equal x which is less than 360 degrees. We want to convert the x into 3x, so we have to multiply the entire interval by 3. So if I do this, I get 0 times 3 is 0, less than or equal to x times 3 is 3x, less than 360 times 3, which is 1080 degrees. Now I'm going to let capital X equal 3x. So we can rewrite this equation as cos capital X equal minus a half, and we can rewrite this interval here as 0 is less than or equal to capital X, which is less than 1080 degrees. So we're going to proceed forward by solving for capital X. So we've got cos capital X equal minus a half. We can circle the minus a half, which is a negative value. Right. So now we work out the principal solution. So capital X is equal to cos inverse of minus a half. So if I put this into my calculator, I get 120 degrees. Now to work out all the other solutions for capital X in this particular interval, we have to draw a cost diagram. So I'm about to draw a cost diagram now. So here is the cost diagram. We have cosine is positive, all is positive, sine is positive, and tan is positive. We are solving for 0 to 1080, so I'm going to label 0 to 360 on the cost diagram. So we've got 0 here, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, 360 degrees. If we go anti-clockwise, we are measuring positive angles. Now cosine is negative in the following two quadrants. In the sine quadrant and in the tan quadrant. So we can draw the two lines, 1 and 2. Okay, the first solution for capital X is 120 degrees. So this 120 degrees represents this angle here. So that is 120 degrees. Now we can label the acute angle with the horizontal axis. So this acute angle here is basically 180 degrees take away 120 degrees. So that there, ladies and gents, is 60 degrees. This acute angle over here by symmetry is also 60 degrees. So the first solution is 120 degrees. The second solution, we start from zero and we go anti-clockwise until we arrive at the second line. So that solution will be 180 degrees plus 60 degrees, which is 240 degrees. Right, so we want all the solutions from zero to 1080 degrees. Now the third solution will be 360 degrees plus the 120 degrees. This is 480 degrees. The fourth solution will be all the way around 360 plus this angle over here, which is 240. So 360 plus 240 is 600 degrees. Now to work out the fifth solution, we have to go around twice. Okay, so 360 times 2 is 720. So we have 720 plus the 120, which is 840 degrees. And then the sixth solution will be going around twice, so 720 plus this angle here, so 720 plus 240, which is 960 degrees. So these are all the solutions for capital X in this particular interval. We are solving for lowercase x, so what we now need to do is replace the capital X with 3x. So we've got 3x equal to these angles over here. So 120 degrees, 240 degrees, 480 degrees, 600 degrees, 840 degrees, and finally 960 degrees. To work out the solutions for lowercase x, we can now divide each of these solutions by 3. So we divide by 3. This will therefore give me the solutions for lowercase x. 
So we have the following solutions. We've got 40 degrees, 80 degrees, 160 degrees, 200 degrees, 280 degrees, and finally 320 degrees. So that there, ladies and gents, completes part A of exam style question one. Let's have a look at part B of exam style question one. We're going to start by writing down the interval. So we have x is more than or equal zero, but less than 360 degrees. We want to convert the x into x minus 20, so we have to subtract 20 from each element in this interval. So minus 20, minus 20, minus 20. So 0 minus 20 is just minus 20. x minus 20 is x minus 20. And then we've got 360 minus 20, which is 340. Now we are going to let capital X equal x minus 20 degrees. Ladies and gents, we can rewrite this equation as <clears throat> sine capital X equal minus 1 over square root 2. And we can rewrite this interval as minus 20 degrees is less than or equal to capital X, which is less than 340 degrees. Okay, so let's circle the value of sine X, which is minus 1 over square root 2. It's a negative value. The principal solution is obtained by taking sine inverse of minus 1 over root 2. So if I take sine inverse of minus 1 over root 2, I get minus 45 degrees. Okay, now to work out all the solutions in this particular interval for capital X, we need to draw a cost diagram. So here is my cost diagram. So we've got cosine is positive, all is positive, sine is positive, tan is positive, and then we've got 0, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, 360 degrees. We know that if we go anti-clockwise, we are measuring positive angles, whereas if we go clockwise, we are measuring negative angles. So this particular angle here would be minus 90 degrees. Okay, now sine x is negative in the following two quadrants the tan quadrant and the cosine quadrant. So we can draw two lines over here as follows. Uh, the minus 45 degrees will basically be this angle here, which means that the acute with the horizontal has to be the positive of the minus 45. So it will just be 45 degrees. And also this part over here is 45 degrees by symmetry. Okay, so we want uh, solutions for capital X in this particular interval. Let's start off with the positive solutions. From 0 degrees, we're going to go anti-clockwise. So the first positive solution will be this angle here. That would be 180 degrees plus 45 degrees, which is 225 degrees. The second positive solution will be this solution here. That is calculated by doing 360 minus 45 degrees. This is 315 degrees. Now we've got the first negative solution, which is minus 45 degrees. The second negative solution will be this one here. We're going clockwise until we arrive at the second line. That would be basically this angle here, minus 180 degrees, plus the 45 degrees, which is minus 135 degrees. Okay, now if we have a look at the solutions for x here, we notice that minus 45 degrees and minus 135 degrees is outside the interval for capital X. So we can disregard these two solutions. So the only solutions for capital X are 225 degrees and 315 degrees. Okay, we're solving for lowercase x. What we now need to do is replace the capital X with x minus 20. So we've got x minus 20 degrees is equal to 225 degrees and 315 degrees. So to work out the value of lowercase x, we can add 20 to both solutions. So add 20. Uh, this would give us x equal 245 degrees and 335 degrees. That there, ladies and gents, completes exam style question one. Moving on to exam style question two. 
Solve tan 5x minus 20 degrees equal to 5 over 2 for minus 90 degrees is less than x, which is less than 90 degrees, giving your answers to one decimal place. Let's have a look at the solution to exam style your question 2. The first step is to write down the interval for x. So we have minus 90 degrees is less than x, which is less than 90 degrees. We want to transform the x into 5x minus 20 degrees. The first step is to multiply each element of this interval by 5. So times 5, times 5, times 5. Minus 90 times 5 is minus 450. x times 5 is 5x. And 90 times 5 is 450. The next step is to subtract 20 from each element of this interval. So minus 20, minus 20, minus 20. So minus 450 minus 20 is minus 470 is less than 5x minus 20 is less than 450 minus 20 ladies and gents that is 430 right so now we let capital X equal 5x minus 20 degrees so we can rewrite this equation as tan capital X equal 5 over 2 and we can rewrite this interval as minus 470 is less than capital X, which is less than 430. So we have that tan capital X is equal to 5 over 2, so we can circle the 5 over 2. It's a positive value. To work out X, we can take tan inverse of 5 over 2. So tan inverse of 5 over 2 is equal to 68.199 degrees to three decimal places. I'm going to round off the solutions to three decimal places and then my final solutions for x I'm going to round off to one decimal place to avoid rounding errors. Okay, so that's the first solution for capital X. We want to work out all the other solutions for capital X in this particular interval. Hence, we need to draw a cost diagram. So here is my cost diagram. We've got cosine is positive, all is positive, sine is positive, tan is positive. Starting from here, 0 degrees, if we go anti-clockwise, we are measuring positive angles. So we've got 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, 360 degrees. And uh, if we go clockwise, we are measuring negative angles. So this angle over here would be minus 90 degrees. That would be minus 180 degrees. That's minus 270 degrees, and that's minus 360 degrees. Okay, so tan x is equal to 5 over 2. It's a positive value. Tan is positive in the all quadrant and in the tan quadrant. So, we have that the first positive solution, starting from 0 degrees going anti-clockwise, is going to be 68.199 to three decimal places. So, the acute angle with the horizontal will be 68.199. So that's your first positive solution. The second positive solution, starting from zero, going anti-clockwise until you hit the second line. So that would be 180 degrees plus 68.199, which is 248.199 degrees. The third solution would be, go all the way around 360 plus the 68.199. This would give us 428.199 degrees. Moving on to the fourth solution, so that would be going all the way around 360 plus this angle here, which is 248.199. So 360 plus 248.199 gives us a solution which is outside this interval, the upper limit is 430. So these are the only positive solutions in this particular interval. Let's have a look at the negative solutions. So we start at zero degrees and now we go clockwise. So the first negative solution will be that one there. So that is given by minus 180 degrees plus 68.199, which is minus 111.801 degrees. The second negative solution is given by starting from zero degrees going clockwise until we arrive at this second line over here. 
This would be minus 360 degrees plus 68.199, which is minus 291.801 degrees. Um, so how would we work out the third negative solution? Well, ladies and gents, we have to go all the way around minus 360, and then we have to do minus 111.801 degrees. But this solution will be outside this interval because the lower limit is minus 470 degrees. These are the only solutions for capital X. Now we are trying to work out the solutions for lowercase x. We can now replace the capital X with 5x minus 20. So we've got 5x minus 20 degrees is equal to each of these solutions here. Okay, now we have to rearrange and work out x. We are going to add 20 to each solution and then divide by 5. So we add 20 degrees and then divide by 5. This will give us the solutions for x. Therefore, x is equal to, I'm going to work out the solutions for x correct to one decimal place. So solutions for x are 17.6 degrees, 53.6 degrees, 89.6 degrees, minus 18.4 degrees, and minus 54.4 degrees. One decimal place. And that there, ladies and gents, completes exam style question two and this teaching video 10.5 harder trigonometric equations. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.